Okay, let's we'll start our lesson today. We are going to do the second lesson. Uh, is about accounting and finance. Let's we'll go through. Mm -hmm. Okay, during, during our last and we discuss about anything you remember what we discussed. We discussed yes, what is um, the four financial statements, the profit yeah. and loss balance sheet, cash flow, equity statements. Um, we differentiated the sole trader partnership and the company. We talked about well, financial accounting and the, the well difference between financial accounting and management accounting. Um, and then we spoke a little bit about the balance sheet. We talked a little bit about um value added tax. Uh, yeah. And then we did about the double entry, a little bit yeah. about double entry. Yes, well done. We discuss about double entry bookkeeping. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what is the difference between financial accounting and management accounting? Okay, um, management is planning, organizing, and the controlling of the financial activities. Financial accounting, however, is when a company is keeping track of the financial transactions. Okay. So, what about the financial accounting? Is it, is it internal or external? Financial accounting is internal. Uh, what about the management accounting then? Management accounting? Oh. Okay, the management accounting that will be internal, financial accounting that will be external. Management accounting is internal and financial accounting is external. Yeah. Okay, well done. Okay, what about the accounting equation? How many types of financial statements we prepare? Uh, we have four financial statements. The profit and loss, balance sheet, cash flow, and equity statement. Okay. Yes, well done. What about the accounting equation? Assets equal to? Um, assets, assets? Equal to? Um, capital minus liabilities. Yes, asset equal to liability plus capital, yes? Okay. So, in uh, well done. You well remember, really well done, great. So today we are moving forward and we'll discuss about, can you see my screen, yes? Um, no, I can't. Okay, you can't, just give me a minute. So I'll, I'll show you in a minute. I think so. Today our software really annoyed. It was either from my side of the issue or the software is bad. I really struggled to fix it. Also will work now. So I'll share with you. Okay. Can, can you see? Yes, I can see now. Oh great, that's good you know. So now if you if you log in later on Moodle. Mm -hmm. And we are doing unit five, yes? Yes. So under the unit five, uh, we have, I'll upload, you know, all the relevant resources today under. Okay.
Okay, this is our unit spec. It took some ages to fix the problem. Now, <laughs> first, you know, 1.1, we define the purpose of accounting and financial management in context of the tourism and hospitality industry. Uh, and critically analyze the difference between sole trader and partnership and limited company. Explain how financial software can support the hospitality business accounting function, which we'll discuss today. Uh, double okay. entry, how it will be used and maintain the financial record. Uh, we discuss about the describe how to calculate and practically account that. Um, Wet on um, wet on um, purchase uh, and sales, maintain the purchase and the sales. And mm -hmm. we discuss about the explain role of cash. And uh, today, our focus will be role of cash receipt and the payments and the bank reconciliation. Okay, uh, we'll I'll show you a little bit trial balance as well, which we'll go through and we'll um. And the next lesson will actually can will prepare the trial balance. We'll prepare the financial statement as well, and okay. we'll discuss you know, the sources of finance. Then we'll do one lesson to just recap, you know, things as well. Okay. All right. You know. So let's we'll start. So today first we are going to discuss about the software. In accounting, we have a different software we can use. Especially in hospitality industry, the software is called Opera. Opera, yeah. Opera is hotel management system, which is quite popular all over the world. We can use Opera or software to manage our clients. It's a customer relationship management, and it helps us to maintain the business activity. Okay. And in accounting specific. Specialized accounting software, one of them is called Sage. Sage line okay. accounting is quite popular. So, Sage is. So, we'll discuss about Sage. Mm -hmm. So, we next will. Little bit of the software. Uh, this is a uh, clip link about what is meant by Sage. Let's will watch what is meant by Sage and okay. how many user of Sage. So just one minute. That's about the sage. Okay. The videos will go the further, you know, different clips. So please, okay. you know, try to be just watching your bit, you know, free time, please, and uh, to get you know more understanding about sage. Sage okay. is a specific accountant in 
in UK and around the world as well. It used Sage to manage accounts. So, developed in 1981, currently over 800,000 customers use Sage, you know, when the, I prepared the slide. So, it's likely every year, every day, even is increasing. There's over 11,000 businesses in the UK use the Sage. ERP is called Enterprise Resource Planning Software. We use okay. rent of big businesses, various sort of the businesses that like one supermarket we call here is the Morrison using this software as well to manage their accounts. Okay. Software is well in the UK, especially in the for the UK market. Automatically provide customer with 45 days free. Just uh, don't need to go through too much in detail, but we we'll know the page. It helps us mm -hmm. provide training. It helps us to manage our stock. We can do a bit of research, you know, in the next lesson. So what you do, do try to be do a bit of research, you know. We and other yeah. software, the software we call Texas, which is quite popular as well. But Sage is Sage is a slightly limited version, but the Pexis is a slightly higher version, which is used not only for the small businesses, it's used for mm -hmm. the big. Let's we'll try to be a watch little video about what is Pexis software about. So okay. next we look in the Pexis. That's what we'll go through. Big software, yes. It's manage all yes, sort of, it's manage all sort of you know um, uh, activities within the uh, hospitality industry. Really, all about yes. It's not just yes, only it's very detailed. It's quite good, you know, to know. Yeah. And uh, you can watch a couple of more videos as well. I try to this, uh, you know send you some links as well, and we'll go through. Okay. Okay. So yeah. next. Next, uh, we discussed in the previous lesson, uh, sole traders and partnership. So according to the R1 of learning outcome, we need to discuss about sole trader and partnership. What is the key difference between them? Sole trader is a one person business in partnership two or more, uh, but less than 20 in some, some countries, it, 
can be partnership up to 50 capital okay. contribution contribu uh, amount is can be contributed by uh, one owner mm -hmm. but it's a partnership each partner you need to be contribution but some partner can be we called um, sleeping partner or we call nominal partner or they're just name you know use in a partnership okay uh, liability in both cases uh, partners always have an unlimited liability in case of any losses the uh, uh, the claim you know from the personal asset of the company as well personal asset mm -hmm. of the individual not company individual act uh, sole trader is a no act there is no uh, particular legislation as long somebody is doing legal and authentic activities can start mm -hmm. sole but, but partnership mm -hmm. act in different country have a different years of act but most of the country have a partnership act you know you can look around in your own i'm assuming we have a partnership act there as well Partnership Act in Malaysia in 1960, in uh, in UK as well, and rest of the world, you know, different Partnership Act, you know, in force. Okay. Leg legislation, no separate legislation, business entity, uh, owner is responsible, risk and reward. But then, uh, but the sole trader, uh, partnership normally is gone under Partnership Act, but no other mm -hmm. legislation follow as long as authentic and legal activities depend upon the nature of the business we can get the license you know sometimes but no other specific legislation type of business can be on the stock the market accounting firm like law firms normally two three partners we are two three account and we come together and we set up the partnership we always decide you know our profit and loss sharing ratio between us and we can start a business okay so this is called partnership that's the main difference between partnership okay uh, then we have a two types of company one is a private limited company one is a limited company private limited company is um, company set up under um, company act in in uk we have a company act 2006 mm -hmm. In rest of the world, different company act. You know, every country follow different company act. Yeah. So public limited is the issue share to the public. Private can't issue share to the public. Normally have a private investor. We come together. We can set up the company, but normally we publish information on the public domain. We can submit information to the HMRC, tax offices, but we can't. You know, normally give information to the public. Okay. But the public limited company, they public because they registered in the stock exchange, they have to publish their account. That's a major difference between them. Okay. And they like here, public limited company, minimum two and maximum unlimited in the same thing, private limited, there is a no limit on the members. They can issue this to the public, private limited, they're not allowed normally. Both companies are listed. Uh, normally, one is listed in the stock exchange, one is unlisted, but both is registered with this uh, company house. Okay. The company. Financial information is a publicly is available. Public limited company have not have a right not to publish. If they want to publish, they can, but normally it's not compulsory for them. Liability. Okay. Both companies have a limited liability in case of you know any losses anything happens so there is not a, a huge difference between them so always you know so we can use it uh, both companies as a public or as a private uh, we have a board of uh, board of directors we can make but normally is a public compulsory for that we have a non executive members executive members next we next we looking uh, budget cash Cash receipt and cash payment is one of our learning outcome. Mm -hmm. Sorry, because our, today we start our lessons late, you know, quite the, uh, the issue was server. And they explain the role of the cash receipt and the payment and reconciliation. So, role of cash receipt and payment. What is meant by the cash receipt? 
um, cash that we receive for the goods sold, goods or services sold. Mm -hmm. Any example of cash receipt? Uh, cash receipt. Receiving cash from customer through cash sales. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. selling, selling our asset, we receive the cash. So any anything we receive as a cash, we call the cash receipt. Yes. Okay. Cash payment is any payment like payment we have um salary, wages, insurance, expenses. So each month we see, always manage how much is the cash inflow and how much is the cash outflow. How much cash came in the business, how much cash went out of the business. Okay. So that's called cash flow. What about the bank reconciliation? Have we heard about the bank reconciliation? Yes, I have heard about it. Um, okay. That is where you are matching the balance of the entities accounting records for cash accounts and you are looking for well the differences or matches between the cash account and the bank statement okay good yes so matching the cash reconciliation mean we are matching sometime you know we we have a direct direct debit we are paying money directly to Customer, and uh, then sometimes our cash balance and the bank balance not match. Sometimes yeah. we pay some bank charges, our cash balance not match with the bank balance. Yeah. But so we we reconcile where the difference we have and why we have. So okay. which will will do will go through theoretical questions as well. That will help us to clear more concept, you know, theoretical as well as numerical. Okay. Of so, can you see on the screen? Yes, I can. Cash yes. Perfect. Total receipts include cash sales received from debtors, that mean our customers. Mm -hmm. Sales of fixed asset, receipts of interest, issue of new shares, any other fees, realities, or income we receive. Typical payments include cash purchases. Payment to creditor. Creditor uh, mean our supplier to whom we bought our goods. But we have yeah. paid the payment at the time of the purchase. We made the payment or uh, we will be liable to make the payment in future days. Mm -hmm. So payments for overheads, purchase of the fixed asset, payment of the dividend, interest and tax. Okay. So cash budgets are prepared. Let's see, we have a cash budget this. We have a Brown and Co has prepared the following forecast. Forecast is a six month forecast. And we are going to be, here is finished this uh, 31st, 12, we can say 31st, uh, 2017 first course. We're looking sale forecast. We are expecting each month sales, 52,000, 45,000, all this you know different sales then we have a mm -hmm. purchase month we are expecting to purchase we are mm -hmm. expecting to pay the wages each month we are looking the salaries each month and salary expenses all sort of other expenses we make policies in our organization cash balance at the start of first october was 15000 we looking 50% our debtors our credit customer we sold the goods on credit they will pay uh, fifty percent at the end of the first month. Fifty percent mm -hmm. they will pay end of two months. So we're not receiving all the cash at the time of the sale. Yeah. End of the first month we'll see fifty percent. End of the second month they will pay us fifty percent. So in two months we're supposed to get the cash. Okay. So the month, so the month of July sales we are getting fifty percent in the month of. July and 50% in the month of August. Okay. So we'll make the budget how much the cash receipt will be in that month, how much the cash will be go out of there. 
Okay, so we have a fifty percent purchases are purchased from one supplier who allowed ten percent discount. Fifty percent are purchases. So twenty five thousand fifty percent. How much will be? Twenty five. Fifty percent of twenty five thousand. Um, twelve thousand five hundred. Brilliant. On the twelve thousand five hundred, we'll get ten percent discount. So it means we have to pay fifty percent of twelve thousand five hundred. Yes. The reminder twelve thousand five hundred. The following month, we need to make the payment. Okay. So new equipment we bought, which we bought mm -hmm. in November. So we need more cash in November. Yes. We can sometimes borrow the money. Our draft. We can look around where the money will come from. Because if we don't have a cash, we don't have a business. Cash is a life part of any business. So we need to manage the cash. Yes. So this question is about to prepare the cash budget. Three months ending thirty first December. I have prepared. But uh, please, we'll go through the template. I put it this template there. Okay. So this template is help us to prepare the cash budget. All right. So we can put it like you know January, Feb, or we have a June, June, July, August, September, October. Yes. Yes. And we can we can put it if we have an opening balance any month. Can put it as a seed there. We can look around the payment. Yes, payment is come all our expenses, mm -hmm. and we can we can prepare our sales each month, and then we can transfer all these balance in our receipt and the payment column. Yes, so we can calculate. Yeah. I'll show you the next where we prepared. Okay, this is one of we have um, this one. This one, our second question, and we'll go to the. Okay, this one we have. Which month we are looking? July, September, October, November, and December. So according to the question, how much we have for sales? So we're looking the sales. Sales we have July, August, September, October, November, December. Yes. Yes. Are putting July first, yes. Yeah. So first, we can put all our sales sales temple under the sales column. Mm -hmm. uh, July sales, yes. Yeah? Yes. But we have to prepare the budget for three months. But because the reason is that the last three months it mean not mean we are receiving the. Three month money in three months. Yes, the previous month will receive in the those months. Our those months money will receive the following month. So okay. that's why we must we start from. So all the all the amounts of the sales there. Fifty mm -hmm. percent will get in the month of the sale. Fifty percent will get the following month. Yes. Yes. So you see there, I put it fifty percent there, fifty percent following month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. August fifty percent. August sales fifty percent will go in September. September fifty yeah. percent. October yes. So I added yeah. all, all the total there. So according okay. to the question, we need to prepare October, November, and December budget cash. Yeah. So in the question, we already mentioned fifteen thousand at the opening balance. Uh mm huh. -hmm. We have a sales through sales. If we look at the sales figure, total in October column. In October, uh -huh. we have total our sales. How much? Four thousand six five hundred. Yes, in seventy forty-seven thousand and five fifty thousand five hundred. Yes. Yes. So then we add it all there under receipt columns. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, last three months because we have to prepare the three months budget, three months receipts and three oh. months payment. Yeah. So opening balance was given, and we have a total receipt in that month, sixty-one five hundred. 
Then we will mm -hmm. go through our payment. We know the purchases, how much we have. And we can prepare the template, you know, like purchase, like sales, we can prepare the wage, uh, our purchases as well. July purchases, policy is 50% payment we will make in the month purchase, but we'll get 10% discount. Yes. So 12,500 should be 50% and we have to pay 10%. We are paying 90% of 12,500. Yes. So okay, 90% yeah. is at 11,250 and in the uh -huh. 50%. So all the payments of these months, yes, according to the policy. In October, we are supposed to make the payment of our purchases 28,400 in November, in December. We have only concerned three months, yes? Yes. Then we have a policy. We pay weekly salary one month, one week a year or two weeks a year. So if we'll divide it, 4100 divided by four times by three, we'll get, you know. So we paying three months, three weeks salary in month of July. One week yes. salary will go in the month of August. Okay. okay. So we'll carry on doing and we'll reach in the October and we'll it shows how much wages we're supposed to pay in October, how much we're supposed mm -hmm. to pay in November. And now in the payment column, we'll put all these, you know, this is under the payment here. Yeah? Okay. So yeah, did you get me? Yeah, that's pretty easy. Oh yes, it's quite easy. Just a logic, you know, just want to be. We have a purchases, we have a wages, we have a salary, salary always fixed, wages always hourly basis. There's yeah. a difference. Wages is hourly, salary is a fix. Okay. So so that's there. Then we have a salary expenses each month, yes. Those are mm -hmm. given we say given equipment which month. So we have a receipt minus payment we remaining closing balance of that month all right positive balance that closing balance in the following month will be opening balance yes yes so that receipt now we have a total receipt in november this will make will take out total payment and remaining we have a negative balance we don't have yeah. a yes our drawn so we need to borrow the money to fulfill yeah. the requirement in the following months, then we have a negative balance goes opening. Yes. Yes. Then we'll take and we have a total receipt in the month. Then we have all the purchases, all this will total expenses. Still, we have outstanding 2465 pounds in that month. Yes, we yes. use our draft. So, in this way, we can make how much is the receipt, how much is the payment. Okay, mm -hmm. so in yeah. your assignment, you can add any example like this to address it. Yes, yeah, is it okay? Yes, okay, well done. Great. So, we finish our role of cash receipt and payment. So, we can explain role of cash receipt and payment, help us to monitor the cash as example is mentioned in your task so you can explain what type of the receipt can be what type of the payment can be you can discuss about bank reconciliation matching the cash balance with the bank with balance. the bank statements yeah so that's called bank reconciliation mm -hmm. we can add some example like sometime you know bank uh, charge the charges of our their services and we mm -hmm. don't know, we are saying uh, my balance should be this in because we have a cash book in a company cash register where we keep the balance, how much cash we have in a bank. We always tell you that why and we reconcile, which is quite good to reflect, you know, how much balance we have, how much balance we don't have. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Any question? No questions. Okay, well then next I'll show you just quick next. We discuss about yes, I'll we'll we'll go through next lesson, but I'll I'll show you this.
this is we have a your a trainee accountant for suppose you working in a business and you know land and building is it asset expense for the business land and building asset asset well done motor vehicle asset asset fixture facing asset asset always asset. debit office equipment asset bank is asset cash is asset sales is sales is sales income yes income goes on the credit file sale ledger control account mean are sale ledger control mean are debtors that is our customer to whom we sold the goods on credit all right is our other way round we can simply say are receivables yes yes a capital we have a sale return purchase is purchase is return purchase ledger control mean our supplier but we not make the payment these are our liability drawing mean to use money for personal insurance advertising these are expenses purchase return mean return subsist subsistent mean we are giving discount to our customer subsidized okay. mean discounted you know our worker like if you are mm -hmm. in employees of in a hotel you can get cheaper room you will get discount yeah telephone is the charges count allowed is expense for the business carried out yeah. what mean you pay the delivery charges discount received a early payment we have received discount carried in word mm -hmm. is the delivery charges we paid rates is mean the tax we paid bank charges motor vehicle expense accounting training posted all these are expense bank interest yeah. received this mean we have a income bank you know because bank paid us interest okay so next now in we supposed to prepare the trial balance okay okay from this we from these figure we supposed to pay tri make trial balance put it trial balance on what things will be on the debit side what things will be on the credit side and building should be debit side those are all assets expense goes on the debit side to liability income goes on the credit side okay so i put so this is where, so this is the double end this is the actual what you call a double entry account uh, yes that's a double entry two side no this is we are looking which one is a asset which one is a liability yes if okay. my assets increase against is my something other will be increased either liability or capital all right always cause and effect yes debit and credit mm -hmm. so should be either debit or credit yes so okay. you see my debit side should be equal to my credit side is it yeah. equal my total when you will do yeah. and it will be equal yes yes so that's all from this then we can prepare the all accounts we can prepare the profit and loss profit and loss yeah. we can prepare the balance, balance sheet balance sheet from it because we doing normal partnership and sole trader accounts prepare mm -hmm. even statement of change in equity or cash flow as well from this trial balance yes yes the balance sheet balance sheet as well will help us to prepare the cash flow Okay. 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 So what I'll do, I'll send you this. You know, you look around the questions. If you not get me, so please ask me. Okay. Okay. Thanks for sending me assignment. Sorry, I was busy. I not managed to mark it, but I'll give you the feedback and then we'll submit it. Final assignment yours will be ready, and you are going to finish okay. the. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So today lesson we learn about. what we learn right we learned well we just learned about the bank reconciliation um and of course the trial balance yeah we learned about the softwares the different mm -hmm. accounting softwares like sage and um pegasus yes well done and the other one was opera Yes, we discuss opera as well. Yes. Right. Um. Cash budget, cash receipt payment. 
yes cash cash receipts cash payments we did that uh the difference between the sole trader partnership and the companies the private companies and the public limited companies well done great uh, and uh, that's all you know really we learn okay and yeah please you look the questions all there everything is at there solved with the answers as well yes yeah. I help you if not we'll go through in the during our next lesson okay okay and we'll we'll go through all you know. all right no problem sorry for waiting today yes that's no problem sometimes these things happen i <laughs> managed to join i think so there was a bit glitch you know i, okay. I was i was clicking some sharing and things and it was and you and my voice was a bit you know struggling <laughs> my god not hearing i was hearing you and all background as well so that's the issue okay yeah okay we're not doing quiz we'll try to re uh, keep our quiz for next lesson with, yes uh, fatma i need to go through with fatma as well to revise yes then we'll go through all okay. right Do you have my number? Uh no, I have Raman's number. Okay, just one second I'll send you text. Uh you can say if you need Raman WhatsApp. Mhm. Mm because you can send me as well. Or I okay. can send you message in case you know like There was issue or due to any reason, if we are slightly or something. Okay. Come on, we is there, huh? All right. Yes, I got it. Okay, brilliant. Have a good weekend. Same to you. Okay, brilliant. We'll see you next class. All right. Bye bye. Bye.